Hello, welcome to lab three. Today we're going to talk about tides. So tides are complicated but fairly simple if that makes any sense. So when I was younger, um, tides made absolutely no sense to me. I was completely like, I have no idea what's going on. And every time I go to the beach with my mother, she's always convinced high tide is about to start. And I was like, how can tide, tide, high tide always about to start? Well, okay, so here's a graphic. We talked about this in lecture, but I'm going to talk about it again. So here we have the Earth and the Moon. And so the water on our planet is sort of attracted to the Moon from gravity, right? So it's attracted to the Earth, but it's also attracted to the Moon. And the weird thing that happens is like the stuff here is pulled toward the Moon even, right? So all the water everywhere here is pulled toward the moon okay so as we said in the lecture um, this causes kind of a bulge of water to sort of follow the moon and then so there's high tide here and then there's low tide up here now say the moon had switched and it's over here in a different um uh, different uh, phase of the moon it's the same thing it's wherever the moon is there will be this thing so the water will always sort of be um, attracted to the moon so low tide is where it's not so even if you're um, over on this side of the planet right you're not lined up with the moon so you're not experiencing high tide here when this part rotates under the moon that's when it will experience high tide so it's low tide until you get to high tide right um, kind of thing. Well, I mean, it's normal tide until, but anyway, so the other weird thing is why is there high tide on this side? Well, if you remember from the lecture, it's because the earth is also attracted to the moon. And so the moon is attracted to the earth, the earth is attracted to the moon. And so the earth is sort of like shifted a little bit and sort of leaves the water behind. That was a weird explanation that I read in the book. So if you need to read it again, um, go find that section and read it again. Um, it might make a little bit more sense than just my my quick interpretation here. I have to be quick with these because I can't, uh, lectures will not um, save and then I can't upload them to YouTube. So it's really annoying. Anyway, so um, that is ultimately what happens. So there are two high tides and two low tides during the day. Uh, because of the configuration of where the moon is so um, at one time we're going to be here under the moon where we're experiencing a high tide 12 hours later we're going to be on this side of the planet when we rotate around and so we'll have a high tide and so we will pass through because it takes 24 hours to go all the way around right so we will experience a high tide a low tide a high tide a low tide and then back to high tide so there you go. That is it. We need to go to the beach and we need to experience this firsthand. That's what I think. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.